There's no denying his status as one of the best flyweights in the world. His name is Amir Al-Bazi, fighting out of Iraq, coming off a big win over Kai Kata France in June of 2023. It was a split decision, and a lot of the media and fan base felt like Kai Kata France had won that fight. But the only scorecards that matter, two of the three gave it to Amir al and that set him up for a big fight against Brandon Moreno. And many believe this is as well-rounded a player as we have at 125 pounds. Could just be the first Iraqi champion in UFC history. Got to take care of business here tonight. play against Kai Kata France and throughout his UFC tenure thus far. Our tail of the tape for this flyweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Amir the Prince Abaze. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC flyweight champion of the world, Brandon the Assassin Baby. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here's Brandon Moreno as he gets ready to get going here early in this round. The jab has been a big key for him as he has evolved into one of the best flyweights in the world. You know he can grapple really instinctive when it comes to his offensive submission game and believes there might be an opening for a choke here tonight. We shall see. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Straight hand. That was a beautiful head kick. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Brandon Moreno. Straight right is there. And that one certainly found the target. Just miss with that right hand. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Trying to kick the leg out. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Jab is on point right now. 
there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent has done that too, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Big right hand. Three minutes now, round one. Otherwise, he's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Rips the body there. He's gotta start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just gotta start kicking. Defensive savant, he blocked that punch. Bazzi gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Lance a nice straight. Doing work with the jab. Takedown defense is there. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Yeah, left hook found its target. He's cut now above the eye, courtesy of that strike. We will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. Oh, nice kick. Under 30 seconds. Just misses with the straight right. Under 20 seconds now to go. Seconds here in round one. Right. Round two is next. All right, heading back to the corner now, and we will keep a close eye on things. Amir Albazi's bleeding from the forehead there a little bit. It doesn't appear to be too bad. The focus for the cut man, though, to make sure that he can stop the bleeding and not allow the blood to get into the eyes. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Ready. Ready. Go. Second round here. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, lands a nice straight. Clipped him with a right hand there. Strike lands cleanly there. There's the kick, it's blocked. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow 
his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Nice left from Moreno. Ooh. At what point do you adjust and see these head kicks land over the top? Here Albazi gets stunned there by that stiff jab. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. So the blood really starting to flow every time that area gets targeted and that cuts get worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching forward, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Just unable to quite find that wrench. Well, this is kind of crazy the way this is transpiring. This jiu-jitsu fighter looks like a professional boxer here tonight. He told us about his evolution. He has absolutely taken it to the next level. He has taken it to the next level, J.A. I mean, this guy is so comfortable in the striking before in his career early. He looked a little bit lost. He looked like he was desperate to get takedowns. Now, he seems to be comfortable everywhere. So the work that they are putting in is truly paying dividends. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. That's good defense to block that punch. That was a nice strike. Moreno's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Fire lands a jab. Oh, nice right hand, John. One minute to go in the round. Hands up. Moreno's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Beautiful body kick. So some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. 
All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens. Very slow, very strong match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken the lead in this fight. Let's see who does it. got blocked there. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the game. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut good job defensively to block that punch hard shots landing on both sides here effective use of the jab there by Alphonse Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike right, lands there. Unable to connect with the wall. Just a massive That's one of the I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg. Trying to inflict some damage here. Oh, he's hurt. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you gotta credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that one. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Amir Al Attack the cut. Attack the cut. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, another strike to the torso. Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What the sound? opponents compromise DC it's one thing to land a hard shot it's another thing completely to land a perfect shot and that was a perfect shot all right so the big storyline in this one his offensive prowess particularly when it comes to landing those hooks and I know you like to play Tony Romo you think he goes back to it here well I am almost certain that he's gonna go back <laughs> up and now goes with the big strike to the body. Well done there by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. He passes to half guard. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, right into Mount. Mira Bazzi's back into full guard. Big ground and pound. Change of the position. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. In the half guard. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Brandon Moray. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side. Oh, he escapes! He got out! Wow, that is great submission defense. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Moreno's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. 
Uh, and that'll do it. 15 uh, minutes in the books. Right back to the stools we go. And that is a really severe cut. So we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. You need to protect this cut, though. You know he's going after it. Protect it. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, it's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking home the $50,000. <laughs> they laid it all on the line. They dropped the quarter in the middle of the octagon, <laughs> and they said, let's go. What a round. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here. And he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, nice. Nice. Moreno's really bleeding now. That cut is only getting worse. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. He's got good leg kicks, there it is. Outstanding kick there by Amir al -Bazi. Just out of range with that right hand. with the right hand. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Moreno's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only adds to the entry. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Well, the cut men have done everything that they can tonight, but these guys are handing out facials. This is crazy. Yeah, these guys are going after it, man. Both of them. Both inflicting damage on each other. And both are dealing with it and trying to continue. We go, blood is everywhere. I'm just not sure how much one man can take, never mind both of these guys absorbing a ton of damage to yeah, John, they're spraying blood all over each other. They're beating each other up. They are in each other's face. They are really showing you what type of heart you need in order to be a fighter. What a performance by both. Very, oh, he's stepping over the head here. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. Kimura into an arm bar now. That was a slick transition. Arm still not out of harm's way yet. Look at all the pressure on the arm. Holding the position, still working for a submission. No, he's out. The fight's going to continue. 
continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Right to the knee on belly. Jeff, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Amir Albazi's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Albazi's back in side control. Yeah. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. Well, what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Something's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really open up that cut, John. The blows are just right, devastating. He's, he's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy he won't do it himself, gotta somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Amir Albazi. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Albazi's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Out of range with that one. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Good jab. Just out of the range with that right hand. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defense? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. This man is landing brutal ground and ground. Compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Less than three minutes to go now in this fifth and final round. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Albazi's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. And there you go. Again, half guard. Nice transition in the foot. He's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. Escape that submission. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. It looks like he's trying to get an arm triangle, but he's got to get to the opposite side, get his chest to the mat, and find that finish. Oh, my goodness, he got out again. Wow, that is fantastic submission defense. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. 
And there you go, again, half guard. Amir Albazi, ground and pound from half guard. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. All these actions, though, these big actions gotta wear on the gas tank of both guys. Beautiful transition. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Well, targeting is a penalty in football, not here, as he continues to attack that swelled area. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Still working on that submission. He will not quit on trying to get the submission. Knee on belly. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Moreno's back in full mount. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Horn, that one's gonna hold up in the fight of the year conversation. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 49-47, 50-45, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Brandon the Assassin Baby Marino! All right, no draw, no controversy tonight. Brandon Moreno, the Assassin Baby, your winner by decision. These championship rounds that he has fought in over the course of his career has prepared him for the long fight, and he looked comfortable throughout this fight tonight. Great job by the Assassin Baby.